Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Food Inventory Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And if you've been following our channel for a while, you know that we are doing a freezer and pantry challenge. And so the items that you'll see today are from our freezer. So we are having some mac and cheese from Trader Joe's, and here it is. And here is what the box looks like. And Howard and I both really like this mac and cheese. It tastes homemade, even though, you know, it's frozen and you make it in the microwave. It's really good. And one box serves two. So there are two one cup servings in here. So we're having um, the mac and cheese. And then I had some leftover green beans in the fridge. And then we are having this Nashville hot shrimp from Aldi. I picked this up a couple of months ago. And here is what the box looks like. <clears throat> Howard and I both tasted it and definitely it, it is, you know, um, it does have a kick to it. It is spicy, but neither one of us were crazy about it. Um, you know how some things are spicy, but they don't have a lot of flavor. That's kind of how I feel about this. Howard is not a big fried shrimp person, so he didn't care for it. And I will say it is crunchy. It is crunchy from the oven, but it's okay. I'm not crazy about the flavor. I probably would not repurchase it again, but anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having um, this Signature Select pizza that we picked up from Tom Thumb a while back ago. They were having a special, I think it was three for $9 or $10 or something like that. Um, but this is chicken bacon ranch and, sorry, chicken bacon and ranch sauce pizza. Creamy ranch sauce with mozzarella, cheddar, cheese, uh, white chicken meat, bacon, and caramelized onions on a flatbread crust. And so this is what it looks like on the baking pan. So here it is. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I stopped at Chicken Express which is a local chicken place around here. I had to make a stop after work and I didn't feel like coming home and cooking something or scrounging around for something to eat, even though we have a pantry and freezer full of food, I just didn't feel like it. So um, I got Howard and I two chicken dinners. And so for both of us, I got thighs, that's our preference. So I got chicken thighs for me. I got a cherry pie for me as a side. You get two sides and one of them can be a dessert. So I got a cher fried cherry pie. I got some um, jalapeno poppers, which is um, jalapeno with cheddar cheese and it's deep fried. And they have the best yeast rolls, so I got that. This is Howard's uh, little container right here, his chicken thighs. He likes apple pie, his roll, and then he got these uh, things called corn nuggets that he's been wanting to try. They've been advertising them on their billboard. He said that um, it's like whole kernel corn in there, but it has a creamed corn texture on the inside and then they're deep fried. He said they're okay. I did not try one because I'm not a big creamed corn person. And then we really liked their roll, so I got an extra roll for each of us and that's it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having another item from our freezer. This is, I think it's kahiki. Uh, we've never had it before. And it is beef and broccoli. So it has uh, sliced beef and broccoli florets in a brown garlic soy sauce. And all you do is add the sauce packet to the skillet. And then you add the, um, it's a mixture of the broccoli and the ground beef. And you cook it in the skillet for about 12 minutes. So there it is. I tried a little bit of it and it has a pretty good flavor. And then I also just made some jasmine rice, so we're serving it over jasmine rice. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, it's another freezer meal tonight. We are having a favorite of ours, which is this margarita jam and jerk shrimp. You guys know we've, we've been eating this for a while, and I really like it a lot. It's the last one I had in my freezer, so we're finishing it up, and I'm pretty sad about that. Um, but it has a really good, and you really can't tell it from the picture here, but it comes with a lot of sauce, is what, and that's what you see um, on top of the plate is all the jerk sauce that comes when you uh, make it in the skillet. 
But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.